sneaking. Hmm. Hmm. Swish. Jesus. What's happening? Good morning. Are you awake now? Uh, my name is Haruhiko Biwa. I'm a high school sophomore. <laughs> and the one just smirking is my longtime friend, Koryu Okami. She's the same old as me, and we've known each other since kindergarten. Our parents have known each other since college or something, and they get along well. So we started hanging out together frequently. Are you happy to have your longtime friend wake you up? Depends on how you do it. Even now that we become high school students, we are so close that I don't mind if she sneaks into my room in the morning. What the hell? Aren't you happy that your longtime friend woke you up? So I'm saying that it depends on how you wake me up! Wake me up in a normal way! No, that's boring. You bastard! We are surely close friends. But she likes mocking me, and I'm kind of her toy. And I always get pissed off, and we end up in a fight. Here, here! Hmm... Are you angry? I am. <laughs> I should not respond to that, but if I ignore that... Here, here! Silence. Are you angry? Silence? She makes an emoji face like this. <laughs> I'm fine if you're doing that. I'm going to go to karaoke alone today. She becomes silky in the end. Like a child. Generally, I'm the one who compromises and goes along with Kariyu in these situations. Okay, okay. Karaoke, right? Yes. And so, I'm going to go along with her today too. This is the weakness of falling in love with her, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to be frank with you, I like her. Then one day... Here, here! Hmm... Are you angry with me? I am. <laughs> you bastard! Today as well, I have become her toy and pissed off. And we ended up in a fight with violence. I'm a winner! Uh... You are really short-tempered. Whose fault is it? Whose? Boys must be more tolerant. I'm sorry that I'm narrow-minded. It's not that you are only narrow-minded, but... Where are you looking at? That's why you are not popular among girls. Hey, wait. It should be only until we were in kindergarten that you have seen mine. Don't you dare think it's the same as it was at that time? Okay, okay. It's hard to see the unpopular guy making an excuse. You bastard! Seriously, you won't have a girlfriend forever if you keep being like this. The length of time you don't have a girlfriend will be equal to your lifetime, okay? Hmm. Unfortunately, I have been betrothed. <laughs> huh? I tell you, I'm not lying! Huh? Oh, uh, huh? I can't show you proof, but my mom can tell you that. Is it true? You have a betrothed? Uh, I've never heard of it. I see. I mean, that betrothed is you. That was a long time ago. We promised to get married in the future. Our parents were good friends, and when our parents heard about it, they got into the mood and said, well, let's take her as a betrothed. And that's how it came to be. In fact, it's just decided with a flow, so I can't exactly say she is a betrothed. But I'm not telling a lie. So, this is never an excuse for why I have never had a girlfriend. First of all, I like her! Yes, this is why I haven't had a girlfriend! It's not that I can't have a girlfriend. No! <laughs> I will not forgive you! Oh? She is acting strange somehow. What happened to her? 
There is a bastard who approached him without me knowing it. Huh? Who is she? Huh? Tell me! What? What are you going to do knowing it? I'll kill her, and I'll kill myself! What? Well, I'm saying that is you, though. Since then... Hmm... Sneaking... Uh. She's becoming a stalker! I will not approve that someone else gets married to him. I will definitely kill you, and I will kill myself! She's talking me like that, and determined to find out who that betrothed is and punish her! Well, I'm saying that is you, that betrothed! So and so, she's become a hunter of my yet unseen betrothed. Does she think she hasn't gotten caught? With such a way of following. Anyway, seeing how she's acting, does she like me too? When we were little, we were close enough to promise to marry each other. But I didn't expect that we still had feelings for each other. But seeing her not thinking at all that the betrothed is not her even though I talked about it. I guess she doesn't remember that we engaged when we were little. Well, that happened when we were little, so... It can't be helped if she doesn't remember it. Spoiling the fact a bit would help us go further in building our relationship. Ha! Huh, no! If I spoiled that the betrothed was actually her... What? Do you still remember that kind of things that happened a long time ago? Hmm... I didn't expect that you liked me that much. I'll become her toy for a while like that. No! Thinking of that, I can't tell her! If this happens, I have no choice but to let her remember that on her own! Thus, I decided to make her remember it. Kuryu, you have had short hair since a long time ago. At first, I decided to try to associate it with memories. Hmm, yeah. And did you get mocked up as a masculine girl when you were in kindergarten? Yes. It's terrible to say that to such a beautiful girl. You have a high self-esteem. You saved me that time, didn't you? That was cool. <sighs> no, no, no! I was a little embarrassed. Pull yourself together! This is no time for embarrassment! Me! Even though I was being like that, I like... <sighs> hmm? Oh, well, it's nothing. I mean, what's that all of a sudden? Why are you talking about the past? Huh? It was just a chit-chat. Hmm? For me, I am curious about when the betrothed and you see each other and how far you two go in the relationship. How did you remove the highlight from your eyes? With an eraser? Sounds hurting. Rubbing intensely gets rid of the itch in my eyes. You are a weirdo, but I digress. How about you? Do you remember anything in the past? Anything in the past? For example, well, any promises we made in the past? Damn it! Was that too obvious? A promise? Ah! Do you remember? I remember when you thought you were farting and poo came out, and I promised not to tell anyone about that because you were so embarrassed. What did you just remember? After that, she made no pretense of recalling it at all. Apparently, it is not easy to get her to remember it. I knew I would never be able to have her remember it at this point, so I went through my room and looked for something. If there was a memento of the two of us, she might be able to associate it with and remember. Anything? Oh? This is... Handwritten marriage registration? Oh, I remember that. We made it together when we promised to get married. I had completely forgotten about it too. If I leave it somewhere caught by her eyes, maybe she will remember it. Once that's decided, let's come up with a strategy. How do I get her to see this naturally? Hmm. Sneaking. Yes, she's here today too. Then, let's get started! Coming off. Oh? This is the secret strategy that it's accidentally seen after I drop it. This must be a natural way for her to see and remember what's inside. It's a perfect strategy! 
Oh? Huh? But when I think about it, if she asks why I'm carrying this around, what am I going to do? She would think I'm the guy who remembers the promise and carries the marriage registration for the rest of my life! Damn it! I hadn't thought that far ahead. Haruhiko! Uh, but it's too late. Even if she asks me about it, I have to deceive her. Uh, oh? What's up, Guryu? What a coincidence, here in this place. I know, I know. That's really a coincidence. Well, it's just a coincidence. I'm not following you at all, right? Coincidence, coincidence. It's too strange, Guryu. I'm trying so hard to be considerate and pretend that I don't notice. So, do you have anything for me? Ah, yes. You just dropped this. Oh, I see. Thanks. Uh, uh, <clears throat> what? Is that it? Huh? Didn't you see inside of it? Of course not. It's not right to see other people's stuff without permission. Use your common sense. Hmm. Don't talk about common sense even though you are stalking. Anyway, I miscalculated. I didn't expect her not to see what's inside. But what is it? It doesn't look like just a paper. This is marriage registration. What? I told her. I didn't think she would remember it if I tried any more. It was better to be honest, even if it was a shameful thing to do, than try to twist things in some strange way. This longtime friend of mine, if she's not good, I don't think she'll be able to remember it for the rest of her life. Marriage registration? Yes, it's handwritten. <sighs> See? Here's the name on it. What? <clears throat> Wait, what are you doing? <clears throat> Vomit it! Hey! <clears throat> You'll get a stomachache if you eat such a thing. Marriage registration got soaking wet. That was disgusting. Of course, it was. Why did you do that? Because this marriage registration is the one of the betrothed and you, right? Huh? Well, that's true, but... I... like you. <sighs> so, I thought your engagement would be gone if I ate it. Well, it won't be, even if you eat it. <sighs> You're a total idiot. You know that? What? Look at the name written here. Look at it carefully. Huh? Um, don't get it close to me, please. It stinks like drool. This is your drool. But I digress. Uh, my name? What? This is uh, me and Haruhiko's marriage registration. Do you remember? You and I promised to get married a long time ago. Remember? I mean, I've never forgotten it. What? Rather, I thought you forgot it. Huh? No, no, I totally remembered. Because then, there hasn't been any action until now. Same on you. So I thought you don't like me anymore. I do like you. Well, I guess that by the way you've been acting lately. If that's the case, why didn't you just say so? If I had said that and you had forgotten, you would have said, You still remember that and made fun of me! Oh, she was thinking the exact same thing I was! What in the world? We've been having feelings for each other all this time. I feel like I have wasted various things. Right. If I had talked to you properly, we wouldn't have had to worry about it so much. <sighs> This is kind of awkward. Well, um, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And so, we ended up in a relationship. Extra, are you a yandere? What's that all of a sudden? Because when you found out I had a betrothed, you tried to kill her. What? I don't think so. Then let's do the test. Here we go. If I cheat on you... I'll bury you and her in the same grave. 
Then, what if I break up with you? I'll lock you up, and you won't be able to live without me. <sighs> Sorry. I'm starting to think you're more of a psycho than a yandere. I don't think so. You're a little aware of that, aren't you? 